inch and a quarter coupler. Reducer. See, I gotta have a coupler to put on in order to put the reducer on to then put the sleeve on to go up and into this. All right, you can see that we got the first pivot up here in the pond field all put together. What we're working on now is wiring up the panel. Got it mounted, but wiring it up. And uh, we've got most of the nozzles and drop tubes put on. Let's go to the first spin right here. Uh, so this first switch box is wired up and this one is all done, ready to go. The second one here, we've got it all wired up also and drive motor is wired up, ready to go. So, I uh, don't have nozzles on this span yet. Working on that. What I need to do to this third tower is put a ground wire from one span to the next keep everything grounded together and finish wiring up that switch box and then all we got to do is that last switch box over there so this third switch box right here is the over water switch box and it's wired a little bit different than the first two intermediate switch boxes and I'm not sure where a few wires go so I'm gonna go over and I think it should be the same wiring as on the valley pivots that we have check one of those out and see where those wires are going and hopefully i can figure it out because there's a few wires on there i'm not sure where they're supposed to go and i don't really want to get it wrong because it's 480 volts which probably wouldn't be good for you if you touched it and it wasn't wired correctly so let's go over have a look and see what we can figure out On this terminal strip here, it looks like it's all the same same order as what we've been doing, but I'm going to take a picture anyways. And then, but on the back side, this actually has a different setup than the other box. So on the other switch box, it doesn't have this uh, little timer right here, and I'm not sure why. So we're gonna have to figure out what's going on with that. So back here on this, it does not have a timer mounted right here, unless I'm missing something. And even in the wire diagram, it has the overwater timer printed on it and you can see the wires going into it on this diagram here and it came with these uh, extra pigtails that get wired into that timer now I mean I've never wired up a pivot before so I couldn't tell you so waiting on a call back from a guy that will hopefully have the answer to what the uh, deal is for this timer so in the meantime I think we're just going to go work on the last tower box get that one wired up and uh, hopefully by then I get a call back and we can come back to this one and finish it. So since these are used uh, span cables, we got new fittings we can put on here just because I don't know how. I mean, they seem good, but you know, it's 480 volts and you don't want any water going into your switch box. So we're gonna put on new fittings. Let's take the 
drop cable for the drive motors and strip them back and put them through this hole and mount them right there. And then we can start wiring all these wires onto this switch box. Coupler, I think, and then inch and a quarter to inch reducer. This, this is that. inch. Do I have an inch and a quarter coupler? No. I mean inch and a quarter. Do I have those? No. Say inch. Inch. Inch and a quarter reducer, mm -hmm. but I don't have the inch, inch, inch and a quarter coupler reducer. Say, I gotta have a coupler inch. to put on in order to put the reducer on to then put the sweep on to go up and into this. I got a bunch of extras just in case that I didn't want to run out, but I didn't get. Don't have it. What? The op other option is to take this off and to cut that end off over there. It's just not like the old days. Just sitting here with the hacksaw. Check this out. Got the pivot right here. Everything's hooked up. And we had a little bit of trouble with some wiring last night. Had a guy come out, kind of show us what we didn't have hooked up properly. Just a micro switch on the third tower, missing some wires. But after we got that fixed this morning, we got all our conduit and ground wires all hooked on properly. And uh, so now you can see that the thing runs. I mean, when it starts out, it leaks like that, but then once it gets pressurized and gets going, it kind of seals itself up. So, I don't think that's a big issue, but we might change that out here in the future. Now, I'm not sure what's going on with the end gun. There's nothing in there that's plugging it, but it just kind of sprays out kind of in an odd mist instead of like an end gun shooting out a stream of water. But this is the first pivot we got up. Never done them before. And it seems to be working. 